This is my pitch for a documentary on Marine Football Club called Marine on a Mission. The documentary is on Marine's unexpected journey in the FA Cup and what impact it has on a club of that size in comparison to others in the competition, as well as the players, staff and fans too. Marine's FA Cup journey consisted of beating similar level opponents in Frickley, Runcorn and Nantwich in the first three qualifying rounds. They then went on to beat teams of higher levels too, like Chester and Harrington Waterloo, two divisions higher than themselves, as well as Colchester, four divisions higher. They then faced eight time winners in eight divisions higher than them, Tottenham, who they unfortunately lost to. Well, what makes this so intriguing? No one expected Marine to go this far. This is the first time since the 1992-93 season they progressed to the third round of the FA Cup. They played Tottenham, which is another footballing world to Marine. Tottenham are a professional club worth £1.3 billion and Marine are a semi-professional club worth £375,000 British pounds. On the right here in this slide is James Barrigan working his job as a bin man in the week. He is one of 23 players for Marine that works part time. This in comparison to Spurs' is Gareth Bale who is on 600k a week. That is worth more than the club itself of Marine. He gets paid weekly to play football whereas his James Barrigan here has to work in the week to put some money on the table. This is what makes it such an intriguing documentary as Tottenham are eight tiers higher for a reason. They're a much better team than Marine. For Marine to have this opportunity is once in a lifetime as these two football teams' paths should never normally cross. I think it would make a great documentary as every young boy dreams of competing at Tottenham's level and Marine got that chance for one game and one game only. So getting people involved around the club would make a great story and also a great documentary. How I envision to put the documents together is by putting a series of talking heads and getting different experiences experiences from the manager, players and fans about the experience they had of watching their team play or taking part in this game against Tottenham as well as just the FA Cup journey itself. Interviews will be shot at Rossett Park Marine Stadium in the stands to reflect the atmosphere and the foundations of the club. B-roll will consist of the contributors and feature the stadiums such as corner flags, the nets, the pitch and so on. They will all be done in slow moving fading in and out cutaway shots. Highlights of the game will be included to show the journey of how Marine got to facing Tottenham and also the highlights of the Tottenham game itself. Audio style consists of diegetic sound and non-diegetic sound. The diegetic sound include the interviewee speaking, tell us about experience and answering our questions. There will also be diegetic sound from the game highlights so any player shouts or noises will be included too. Non-diegetic sound will consist of background music to emphasise the point we're trying to make so when Marine are on the good FA Cup run upbeat happy but when marine unfortunately lose to tottenham a bit down because they're out of the cup their journey is ending i also include voiceover for non-diegetic sound just in case there's any information missed off neil young is the manager of marine and would be the great main contributor this is because he knows the impact that the fa cup run has had on and off the pitch on the club so for example i can ask him a question of what impact did the game against tottenham have financially on the club doing my own research i found they made three hundred thousand pounds in virtual tickets which is a lot for a club of marine players would be another great contributor they got to take part in the actual run and play the games and made it possible for Marine to get there. Some questions are asked what the experience was like in general because it's the first time it's been done since 1992-93 for Marine and just getting an insight and perspective on what that was like for them. Fan insight is key as football is nothing without fans so to gain their perspective and opinion would be amazing. They would normally be packed into the ground so asking a question such as do you wish you were in the ground to watch it? Give answers of yes but Covid has stopped that which is unfortunate and they didn't get to witness that in person but they haven't got to experience it on the telly. My primary target audience would be the Marine fans as it is a documentary about Marine after all and it should appeal to all Marine fans. My secondary target audience would be football fans again of all ages, classes and genders and races just because if they're interested in football they'll be interested in this documentary and to gain a perspective of what it's like for small teams in the FA Cup and what impact it can have. The documentary will be available on YouTube. Marine can then repost on their social medias and YouTube to help reach my primary target audience. Jamie Carragher and Sir Kenny Dalglish work with Marine so they can tweet out to their followers just shy of 2 million to reach the secondary target audience. Here is my schedule. Uh, Pre-production is aiming to be done by the 28th of February. Production all done by the 23rd of March. Post-production all done by the 40th of April and distribution done on the 15th of April publishing it to YouTube. A contingency plan has been put in place in case we have any hiccups or there's any problems along the way. So Marine haven't currently responded yet about a documentary being proposed to them. However, it can be reapplied, an example being Altrincham. They're overachieving at the moment as a part-time club in the National League and they're in playoff places and could potentially go into League 2 where it's full of professional clubs. Uh, Covid could also affect accessing the interviewees to film and be in the stadium and gain some B-roll. However, we can use a Zoom alternative to make the interviews happen, but it won't be as good as I'd like it to be.